Everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction. Back again with Roland Abante, who really impressed in his audition for America's Got Talent. Here we have his qualifier, and I see that he went for the ambitious power ballad, I Will Always Love You. Can't wait. Let's see how Roland does on this song. If I I will only be your way So I go But I know I'll think of you When every step the way <laughs> And oh, Okay, so what I really like so far already about this one is that it's an unusual match. Roland with his husky tone is not an obvious match for a Whitney Houston power ballad. Somebody like Putri Ariani, I recently reacted to her rendition of I Will Always Love You. That's, a, that's an obvious match. What I'm liking is hearing how Roland's husky tone gives it a different feeling. It's also telling the story of what the song is about, but it sounds like the relationship is more seasoned. Like it's been through some ups and it's been through some downs and it's gone way longer than it should have. That's, that's the feeling I get in Roland's version just because of his phrasing. His phrasing's a little bit shorter. There's less of the riffs so far, like on the love you, the way he just held that note instead of Ooh, he just kept it a little more simple it's like it's been a hard journey this this is this is the plotting the heaviness the the release the letting go of this relationship it just feels like it has more weight in roland's voice which i'm really feeling yeah the short phrasing let's listen to let's listen to the first few phrases again and just notice how he really doesn't hold on to the ends of these phrases too long it's like one step forward, one step forward, one step forward. That's how I'm hearing it. Not these like da 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 da. It's just the way he's singing it just makes it feel like the story is really there. If I should But I know Yeah I'll think of you When every step The way And that's the first phrase of the whole song that he's actually held out a bit. I have heard so many versions of this song and I always appreciate when there's something a little bit different. For me, this phrasing and his husky voice, these are working for me in in different ways here. Okay, we're gonna pick it back up at the chorus and continue on. No. So it's that grit. It gets a little painful. Love you. It just kind of trails out. Love you. Really gritty there. Which you kind and I hope you have on you dream of and I'm wishing you joy and happiness but above all this I'm wishing you love 
yeah, just, you know, some observations about Roland's voice that it, that makes it so unique. He's got that husky, raspy tone for sure. He's also able to sing gently and softly. Um, it's not all rasp all the time. When he's in his softer dynamic level, it has a very sweet tone to it. And then he's got two, two types of vibrato. One is a slightly faster vibrato. And I'm hearing that the faster vibrato on the lighter notes, the softer notes. And then on his bigger notes, his vibrato widens out a bit. These are the ways that you can identify his voice against a hundred other voices. You're like, oh yeah, that's Roland. These are just some of his natural vocal characteristics. And I... Lots of soul here, lots of heart. Very gentle there. You <laughs> yeah! You know, I really loved how this was stripped down like this with just the guitar. The treatment of this song with his voice and this guitar, it has kind of a feel of uh, A Star Is Born. It has that kind of like, I picture Roland a little bit like Bradley Cooper's character just in terms of the way this song was interpreted and delivered here. So he had some really nice flips into the falsetto and then you notice again, like when he's up there in that falsetto, he's not doing any fancy tricks with riffs and runs. He's just letting the melody do its thing because it's a beautiful melody. And I just keep going back to like the pain that I feel when I when I hear it in his voice. A lot of the other singers who sing this song, they, they tend to have that big power ballad voice. And so you tend to focus more on Wow, that's a huge note. Wow, that's, you know, that's an amazing run. More on the vocal performance than on the actual message of the song, the actual feeling of the song. It's more about, oh, that's great singing, as opposed to, oh my gosh, I feel this in my heart. And with Roland's song, with Roland's rendition, I feel it in my heart, I really do. There's a sadness there. And then just one more thing that I noticed that Roland really employed in, in terms of style technique for the song is he's using a lot of aspirated onsets here. It's a great style technique. Uh, I think people can, can overuse it, but tip for my singers, it's a really easy way to bring more emotion into your performance. So what is an aspirated onset? It's just adding a, a breathy or a deliberate H sound into the beginnings of your phrases particularly phrases that start with a vowel. So instead of, and I, I just did a glottal onset. Now, for the aspirated onset, we're gonna add a big H to the beginning. And I, that's it. That's the aspirated onset. And you'll notice that he uses that for a lot of the beginnings of his phrases. Let's just go back a pinch so that we can observe that together. And then we'll have to see what the judges had to say and all that. And I, There's one there too. Right there. I love how he did that there. That's so cool. Right there. It's so gentle there. You really beautiful. Really beautiful performance. Sophia, you are <laughs> on your feet. Oh. 
looks emotional. I mean, look at it. Looks emotional, here, yeah. They're going crazy for you, and I. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. I I was feeling so much emotion during the song. I didn't see any like tearing of his eyes or anything during the rendition, but I feel like I feel like his eyes are tearing up here, and it's probably just in a, releasing all that emotion that came through in the song. Yeah, it's like I said, this was a real emotional performance. I know that the people have been watching you, your audition, and people love you. It's amazing. Coming from your country, from a karaoke. Thank you. Good job tonight. You're amazing. You deserve to be on AGT. Simon, you like that, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, Simon. Uh, <laughs> Simon! I loved it. <laughs> Could you not? I mean, after that, you know, particularly when I saw the film and what happened after the audition and how much this means to you. And, you know, you were singing your life out on the stage there. Yes! And that's what makes this competition exciting. People who come from all over the world to kind of fulfill their dreams. And I think America, well, in fact, I know America loves you and rightly so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Howie! <laughs> I believe that this was the performance of a final. I loved it. Your voice has so much grit. It has so much texture. It's beautiful. To be honest, one of my favorites of tonight. And if there was another golden buzzer to push you right to the finale, I would push that for you right now. <laughs> this one was so different from When a Man Loves a Woman. And when I started this video, I was talking about obvious matches. Roland's voice and When a Man Loves a Woman was an obvious match, a great match. And I'm so glad he did that one for the first round. For this one, I love that he raised the stakes with this big, big song. This is one of the songs for singers. It's just one of the songs. If you can sing it, you're a singer. And so I just really love that he went for a song that wasn't an obvious match, but he turned it around like this. He made it really emotional, beautiful, moving and different. He didn't have to, to go crazy with riffs and runs and huge notes. He had big notes and he had soft notes. And really what he had was emotion. He was able to convey the emotion of the song in a way that I haven't seen for a long time. So I just loved it. I'm wishing Roland all the best. Fingers crossed. Finals. Let's do it, Roland. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you really enjoyed watching this with me, I'm always super thankful when I see the super thanks come in. Follow me on Instagram. Be sure to support Roland however you can. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.